I'm rolling down the hall with my Bible scriptures This word help protect me from the vultures I can't let the seed fall on hard mud I'm breaking in new lanes and I'm making a thud Blessings on Noah getting ready to flood Revelations got me shook as I read the holy book Jeremiah threw me in, destination already booked Plant me by the water, about to go deep with my roots Wherever my... One. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Miss Nina, aka Nina Fit. Hey, it's Miss Willetta. And we are back, y'all. But before we go any further, y'all already know we got the voice with the choice in the hits out. d And you already know. <laughs> we have us. It's no teen on today. We are doing this. Um, First of all, excuse me. Hello out there. <laughs> Welcome to a new series. It's November. We are yes. back. And so we got a new series. Um, so this month's series is going to be a little different, mm-hmm. and we it's going to be a little shorter. And it's called "Real Fact Checks of Gospel, Not Gossip." Hey. You already know. <laughs> Welcome to November, Real Fact Checks of Gospel, Not Gossip. We are fact-checking what you know, and we fact-checking the Bible. Because, you know, people be out here thinking they preaching the Word of God or t- giving us wisdom. Quotes. <laughs> Quotes. <laughs> they be, and, 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 then, and then we got to start asking them, did the Bible say that? Really? What scripture did you get that really? from? Really? Mm-hmm. First. How can I look that up? First, you a liar. <laughs> Verses one through two. I'm not going to say you lying. Okay. So we're going to get into some things. And this is going to be a four-parter. So, yes, you're going to see us. Like, we're going to be here, you know, because this is the real uh, fact checks of Gospel Not Gossip. Like, y'all watch Real Housewives of Atlanta and all that. So, you know, as we are um, doing something special for November. And, you know, um, plus, this will help you guys. Because don't they eat a lot in November? What is this? This is about to be vacations or whatever. Yeah, Yeah, vacation, holiday. Holiday. All the cooking in the right. Stuff. So, Ooh. um, y'all ready? Y'all ready for Thanksgiving and everything? Ooh, yeah, bring it, huh? Yeah, uh, don't be no, don't be gluttony. Don't be. A yeah, gluttony. we don't need the gluttony. Mm-mm, uh, mm-mm. Don't. Mm. That's in the Bible. That's yes. the fact check. That check one. on that one. That that was a message for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we're doing um fifteen minute fact checks. We're gonna do four segments of fifteen minute fact checks, and this is part one. Miss Willetta, do you want to uh, start us off? Okay, so we're going to start with, um, okay, we're going to start with this one. (laughs) I know you've heard this before. Cleansiness is next to godliness. Oh, but I've heard that a million times. All the time growing up. Yes. I seen that at my job at McDonald's when I was used to work at McDonald's. They have it right over the kitchen. And I used to be like, yeah, I used to be like, oh, they love God. Mind you, I thought Moses was Jesus. So there's that. I knew nothing. You could have got me. <laughs> Just, oh, I it's beautiful. Right. Yeah. But it doesn't say that in the Bible. We did our check. Can, check. Can we get a do 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 Where's our analyst? Analyst. I don't see it. She don't see it. <laughs> it ain't there. But what is there, Miss mm. Willetta? Well, we're going to go to the scripture. So y'all get y'all Bible apps, pull up your Bibles. Let's get to the real word and confirm what we do see in the Bible. Yes, ma'am. So we're going to go to Matthew 15. Keep going. Matthew 15. And we're going to read 16, the verses 16 through 20. So let me start us off. Um, And I'm I'm reading from the um, NIV version. Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. Jesus replied, and why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? Oh, Jesus. Mm. Y'all the read be. Man. And we was talking about Lamaya in the shade last Hello. month. But woo. She definitely in the image of Christ. Mm. <laughs> That's that clap back for you. <laughs> for God said, honor your father and mother and anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is devoted to God, they are not to honor their father or mother with it, 
Thus, you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. Um, You hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. Mm. (laughs) Boy, Lord, I just wouldn't want to get a read from Jesus. I'm just saying. No, not no, ma'am. Um, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. Mm. That breakdown. Jesus called the crowd to him and said, listen and understand what goes into someone's mouth does not defile them. But what comes out of their mouth, that is what defiles them. Mm. He pulled the whole crowd. Like, not only did he read you, then he said, matter of fact, let me teach you. Let me school you in front of them. Keep going. So, go ahead. Then the disciples came to him and asked, do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this? (laughs) um, You just told Jesus (laughs) that they were sad that he... (laughs) Whose side you on? Who you talking to? Are you rolling? Uh, uh, What's that TikTok sound? We don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. We do not care. Mm-mm. Drop the beat. He replied, every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Leave them. They are blind guides. If the blind lead the blind, mm. both will fall into a pit. Teach. Mm. Peter said, explain the parable to us. <laughs> He didn't even understand it and going to tell Jesus he was offended. That's why cleanliness is next to godliness. That's why we like, yeah. Go ahead, somebody. Are you still so dull? Jesus asked them. I love the Lord. Um, Don't you see that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then out of the body? But the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart and these defile them. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immor- immorality, theft, false testimony, slander. These are what defile a person. But eating with unwashed hands does not defile them. Okay. Now listen, I'm going to tell you something. First of all, there's a song up in here that we know from, uh, mm. what's her name, Naomi? Oh. And she says, not just with my lips. It was like maybe um, two albums ago, but she said, we honor you. And when he said Isaiah, I'm glad you read the whole thing. It says, these people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from with me. She said, not just with our lips, we honor you, but with our heart. The fact that you got to go to the heart because we know that God looks at the heart. Mm-hmm. So when y'all go to people's house and it's a mm. little messy, it's cool y'all want to eat from there. You could be a germaphobe. Because, you know, I might not want a glass or something to drink. It's just, I seen some fly by. I don't know. I'm not, you know. That's true. You seen some crawling up the wall. I, yep. Okay. Mm. But does that make them unclean? Because I know people who house, physical house is unclean, and they're nicer than people who house is immaculate. Immaculate. Mm-hmm. So we have one with a house who physical to the eye looks dirty. Then yeah. we have someone who house is immaculate. But then we have someone, the house, the person who house is physically dirty is their heart is immaculate. Their heart is clean. So cleanliness is next to godliness. We was using that for our surrounding. Yeah. But could that have really been for a matter of the heart and being that we didn't fact check it? And no air quotes because mm-hmm. we just did. We really yeah. Did. This was fact checking. So <laughs> Look, I'm all like before, fact- <laughs> before when she was talking about it at McDonald's and all that. Being Sorry, I I use the quotation marks at the wrong time. I'm not good at it. I never. I'm never good at it. <laughs> y'all help me, but like, come on. Yeah. How do, do y'all understand that? Like a fact check. That's a, that's a heart check too. Jesus came for the juggler. I mean, like he was giving us the root of it all. He's saying uh, you're looking at the person's heart. Mm. And that's again, when we talk about you judging people from their outer appearance or what you think they are or who they are. Mm-mm. What's that saying? God knows my heart. God yes. knows. Everybody says that. And he yes. we, and I'll be looking at some people like he do. Do you? He looking at you right now because people love to say that to try and justify why they do what they do mm. or don't do. God knows my heart. Really? So why are you still? Because to put on the image of Christ, to have the heart of Christ is not an easy thing. Let's can we be realistic? That's hard. It's times you have to do it when you don't really want it. Jesus, fix it. I'm gonna be real. Lord, I don't know. 
I want to curse them out and wring them up by their neck. And I want to tell them off some a little bit more. You know what? I should just roll up. All right. You know what? Nope. Jesus. What would Jesus do? He going to go sit down and pray. He going to go to a secluded place and go pray about it. Because sometimes you want to knuck because they bucked. And that's mm-hmm. okay that you want to, but you are not to act on that thing. That's the problem. That's when you got to call on Keep him. me in prayer. Call on the Lord. Call on him. Let him read. What See, you say, d Lee? Keep me in your prayers. <laughs> keep me in your prayers. We gonna, he we not gonna, done with you yet, right? He, he ain't never done with none of us. No. We gonna keep, we gonna I keep, gave you my category <laughs> earlier. <laughs> He's still working on We're going to keep d Leezy lifted. So that fact, d Leezy, what you have for this fact check? Huh? What, what do you have about this fact check? Any input? No, not on this one. Not on this. I mean, we get we fact check. We can't say nothing else about it. It just is what it is. It is what it is. I love that when he said it's not what um enters your mouth, but what yeah. comes, comes out, out of it. Yeah. yeah, you know that kind of convicted me because you know. Mm. Mm. Ooh. We love to be like, oh, you eat this, and oh, you don't eat that. Judge like my mama again. used to be like, oh, you went to college and stop eating pork. I, college ain't got nothing to do with it. I just went to the supermarket. I saw how the pig was hanging. It, it grossed me out, and I and was the I fact that I was, more. Like, <laughs> said, I was done. If y'all really want to know what really happened, but they like you go to college, and it's like I didn't yep. get super woke. I just didn't like it anymore. Yo, yeah, yo, that, that's. I'm glad you said it. Now I got something to say. That kills me. <laughs> She's like, you know, you ain't supposed to be eating shrimp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Yo, I like when people, y'all, Lord forgive me, but when people people hit me with that, oh, I I, I like to shut them down. <laughs> I had somebody tell me that one time. You know, you're not supposed to be eating um, crab. You're not supposed to be having premarital sex. <laughs> Wow! We not come on, to be doing. Jesus, daughter. You just gonna come. You gonna come. I know. Just gonna come like boom. that. Boom! Just gonna don't, drop it. Don't on come them like for that. me if I didn't send for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to. I want to fact check. Hello. <laughs> fact check that. Fact check that. <laughs> so I want to read two things. I want to read um, a precept and then I want to read a commentary. It says after Jesus rebu- rebuked the religious leaders for their blatant disregard of God's word he denounced them dang the confused disciples were concerned that Jesus has offended the Pharisees but Jesus then rebukes the disciples for their lack of understanding <laughs> don't come for him d what you say d don't come for me unless I sent for you Jesus said it first we think we made this up but fact no. check Jesus <laughs> hey, wait 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 what scripture text me that scripture I'm gonna put that on a t-shirt I'm gonna send it to you and then here's a quick commentary before we wrap up part one it says despite the strict rules given to the Israelites about uncleanliness as a metaphor for sinfulness and, cer- yep, and ceremonial washing required by the priests um, you can also look up that in Exodus and Leviticus this phrase is not in the Bible it originated as an ancient Babylonian and Hebrew proverb but became very popular during the Victorian <laughs> era after being revived by Sir Francis Bacon and John Wesley is the new proverb true beyond the metaphor a new study shows that people are generally fairer and more generous when in a clean smelling environment but Jesus also exhorts us not to worry more about the sin to exhort us to worry more about the sin in our hearts than the dirt on our hands and when mm. we read in the scripture it talked about tradition tradition yes so you let tradition mm. Trump, over Trump but, yeah. what the Bible really what the real word is amen Amen. Oh, that's a good. This Jesus. was a good fact check. check. But what is a cleanliness is next to godliness is not in the Bible. But don't come for me unless I send for you. Is so we <laughs> just found out a whole lot, a whole lot of, on tonight. I'm just saying, my lord. Oh my goodness! And I will say one more thing about this to wrap it up. Um, I love it when we hit these scriptures and we see Jesus in his rawness. Right. Right, that's that lion well, part of like, Judah, right? Real talk, it's not real just talk. the lamb. Real talk. If I was, if you was to just say categorize Jesus by an uh, astrological sign, he's a Leo. Child. The he, lion. Yeah. You're Leo. Yeah. They call him the lion yeah. and the lamb, so there's that. He's a Leo. They can't deny that. I'm telling that. y'all, I'm married to Leo. When I hear this, I'll be think, seeing that one all over. <laughs> like, oh. There's no bridling of the tongue in this. Hi. <laughs> all right. Well, that's hey, our um, fact check. d Leezy. What's up? You, you got to take us out of here. Oh, and I, because um, you know, you're a commentator for um, 
a we're season gonna... of fat of fat checks yeah. one gospel, not gossip. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> real real fat checks. Come on, D Leezy, take us out. <laughs> We're gonna throw this to D. Leezy right now. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't do it when I left. Fact check. We're real silly over here. Come on, on the real fact oh, checks of gospel, not gossip. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, D. Leezy. Okay, what was I supposed to say? Oh. Thank you for rolling with us. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, thank you for rolling with us on another episode of Gospel. Not. Gossip. Y'all, we will see y'all next week. Make sure you check us out. We we still we still working on her. See, God is still working on her. Thank you for joining us on the real fact checks of gospel, not gossip. Um, our new November series. And part make sure one. you follow us, part one. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at uh YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh subscribe right here, right now. Mm-hmm. And on Tick Top. Tick a top. Tick tick. Uh, okay, and book of faces, book of faces, many faces. Okay, yeah, um, and, and that thing with the little bluebird, Twitter, and we are also on Instagram. Yes, at Amplify Team Ministry. So, y'all, we will see y'all next week for part two. two.